Hello, my name is Dr. Anupama Tripathi Srikant. I'm a practicing senior consultant anesthesiologist in Bangalore. Malignant hyperthermia is a life-threatening clinical syndrome of autosomal dominant trait. It's basically caused by the abnormal rhinodine receptors in the skeletal muscles which interfere with the normal functioning of the calcium receptors in the skeletal muscles. In simple words, if a patient is susceptible to malignant hyperthermia and they come for any anesthesia where they're given general anesthesia and with the triggering agents, they develop a hypermetabolic and a hypercatabolic state where they have a rapid breathing, a high heart rate, body temperature increases, oxygen consumption increases, and there is increased production of carbon dioxide. There is muscle rigidity and to so much so that if it's not treated on time, a patient can have multiple organ failure, DIC and even death. In 1960s, death due to malignant hyperthermia was almost 80%, which has really come down to 5% or even less nowadays. As we have treatment modalities, we know if the patient is susceptible to it, we have agents to prevent it. The triggering agents in general anesthesia are the volatile anesthetic agents like hyalurthane, isoflurane, sevoflurane, etc. The depolarizing muscle relaxants like succinylcholine, etc. How to prevent it is by avoiding the usage of these triggering agents in general anesthesia or better still if we can avoid general anesthesia altogether we can go ahead with regional anesthesia, local anesthesia, ultrasound guided nerve blocks, sedation, etc. But if a patient still needs general anesthesia, what we can do is have a new machine which doesn't have any soda lime or any of these inhalation agents. You can wash off the entire circuit, breathing circuit or have a new circuit and wash off the circuit with oxygen for nearly 30 minutes at high gas flows. Avoid, like I said, any of the triggering agents. The treatment is dantrolin. For many years, that has been used, which we keep around some 30 to 40 vials are kept in every hospital. You never know when the emergency strikes. If patients ask what is the epidemiology or how often it, patients have it, in US, they've studied and they found that uh, it's almost results in 1 in 10,000 patients to 1 in 50,000, but we do not have clear cut guidelines because many of them are unreported cases. You may have patients coming with malignant hyperthermia for multiple surgeries and they might not have an episode or they may have repeated episodes which have gone unnoticed. Minor type of symptoms may have been there. Now, if a patient has come to us and we have anesthetized a patient and we suspect that patient may have had symptoms of malignant hyperthermia, what we do is we send the patient's skeletal muscle biopsy for confirmation and that will definitely tell us and then we prepare the patient and the attenders and we made them aware that patient is a case of a malignant hyperthermia and what all they have to tell the next time if they ever come for surgery of anesthesia. Now it's not always with anesthesia that it may happen. They've also found that if patients who are susceptible to malignant hyperthermia can have these symptoms even when they are prone or subjected to excessive exercise or to higher ambient temperatures.